So if you asked me what makes people happy, they would be about four things. So doing what they want, spending time with their loved ones, listening to music, and of course, watching audio file heaven video reviews on YouTube. Hope you are happy out there. Also reading the audio file heaven website that truly makes people happy. Today, we are going to explore two of them though, because you are already watching audio file heaven. Let's talk about a bit uh, spending time with your loved ones and listening to music with them. Today's video will be about a Bluetooth speaker, which sounds already bad. And I hope you are not closing the video quite yet, but this is the Rabiang R830 Alcantara Blue Bluetooth speaker. As much as I would have wanted to do a live unboxing, it, the box is just too heavy and it is too uncomfortable to do the unboxing live. It comes with a little manual and it also comes with some cables or rather just one cable. This is the power cable necessary to run the Rabiang R830. And this Bluetooth speaker is priced at 700 US dollars. At least this is the price I could find right now while searching while filming this video. This is how the speaker looks like. <laughs> very 3D object, as I would say. It is covered in a very soft Alcantara touch material. It has this questionable front, but it is replaceable. And I'll just remove it right now because while the company has been excellent in their response and our targs, they sent what I would consider to be the most questionable speaker grill I have ever seen in my entire life. Now the speaker itself, well, this is made for two things. One, for listening to music and two, for spending time with your loved ones. This is the kind of speaker you purchase to enjoy with others. It is not the kind of speaker you purchase to enjoy alone. So it is not the lightest of speakers. It is actually a bit heavy, but I've been doing a bit of gym, so I'm able to hold it here. I would use my head, but I don't think that would quite cut it for this video. It has rugged corners so that you don't damage it. It has feet, rubber in material, so it will be quite stable wherever you place it. It connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth or it has inputs at the back. It has optical input, auxiliary input. It has an analog output and it has an on-off switch and an AC power socket. It is the 314th unit. So they created quite a few of those already. It has 240 watts of power. So it will, it will be able to be enough for a party. Now this is everything about the shape. I brought in a little supporter, I can rest it, but as I can see, it is going off the video. This is it, and this is it on the support. It is barely visible. Now this speaker has been a companion for me because me and some friends decided to go on a mountain trip and we went on the mountain trip and we needed a speaker. And guess what? This was the perfect option. We listened to a ton of music. We had a lot of fun and this was perfect for it. But there is a little caveat. It does not have a battery. <laughs> it needs constant power to work. So basically, if it is not connected to a power outlet, it won't work. It is not a battery powered speaker. At 240 watts, it either wouldn't have had that much power or it wouldn't have had a very long battery life if it tried to run on a battery. It has a handle here, which is made of leather. It shouldn't break, so it should be able to hold the entire speaker. But this is not the kind of speaker you'd be able to take on a walk. It is quite heavy and it's about 10 kilograms, if not more, just the speaker. And you could damage the drivers if you took it out source. This is not the kind of boombox you would just carry like this because it would break both your back and your ears. It gets quite loud and it is stereo. So it has different signals in the two speakers. It never sounds mono. It sounds quite stereo, which is very pleasing. And it just has so much dynamic and such a nice sound. You probably wouldn't expect it to, but this can actually hold a party and not a party with one or two or three people. This is enough for a party with about 15 to 20 people. This is enough for a house to rock on its bricks. This is so loud at its maximum volumes, but has zero distortion that you can literally blow up your windows. It is so loud and it is so nice. I actually been reading it, at least the instructions on the back and I found some interesting things that are not mentioned on their website. And you know, I'm a reviewer and I must mention them. One interesting aspect is that I had no idea about this, but this is tuned by Questile. And basically what that means is that they are going to have 
an interesting sound from the start. So I was not expecting that. I did not know that while making the review, but they are tuned by Questyle. Questyle is the company that made that little dongle, Questyle M15, which was one of the best sounding dongles on the market. And that's not my opinion. I mean, I liked it, but it was reviewed with glowing stars by most reviewers, which means that everyone agrees it's a great little dongle. And this one is tuned by Questyle. It is made by another company, but most of the sound comes from Questa, which explains why it sounds so good. I mean, yeah, Rob Young is a new company. I did not know about them before getting this one, but Questyle, I know all about Questyle. And let me tell you, that explains a lot. Now, besides being heavy, it is drivable from most sources. I've used both a smartphone and I also used Bluetooth to drive it. It works well with both, but it sounds a bit better over the wire than over the Bluetooth connection. The optical input sounds the best, but you need an optical cable and you need a source that's capable of outputting optical signal, which you don't typically have if you take this on a trip. And I keep mentioning trips because I think it is the perfect speaker to take with you if you are sitting in a hotel or if you have a little lobby and you just want to put music on. It is excellent for both foreground and background music. It sounds good at both high and low volumes. It has a beautiful musicality, very fluid and very smooth sound with a good amount of energy, very punchy bass. And when I first plugged it in, in my room, I thought that I was going to replace the Kia LH Model 5 with this. Yeah. You heard me right. Let me put it next to the KLH Model 5. You should be able to see in the back how comedic it looks up to the KLH Model 5. Like, look at it, look at it. It's, <coughs> it's a quarter of the size, but it has more punchiness in the bass than KLH Model 5. It's not like the KLH Model 5 doesn't have more bass, but Rabiang Air 830 is more punchy. The bass just hits harder. It, it, it has this effect, poke, poke. It's how the bass sounds like it. It has smaller drivers, but it has two and they have some acoustic trickeries done to, for them to sound fuller and for them to reach deeper. The bass reaches as low as about 45 Hertz, which is expected from a bass driver that is that small. It's just a tiny bit larger than the mid range driver of the KLH Model 5. So it doesn't do well with sub bass, but where the bass is, is beautiful. It has a warmer bass on warmer mid bass, a warmer upper bass and a warmer lower mid range. But this being said, it has a very crystalline presentation for female voices, pianos and violins. It's, it's beautiful. The sound is just beautiful. It's like you are absolutely amazed when you hear it. And that is the best part about the Rob Young Air 830. It is a beautiful sounding Bluetooth speaker. It's like, man, it sounds so beautiful. It really touches me. It, it really makes me feel happy when hearing it. And that is the interesting part. When you have a Bluetooth speaker, you typically expect a very constrained, very congested sound with not a lot of detail, but with Rabiang Air 830, you get a beautiful sound. You get a sound that's really well done. And I don't know if it is some trick done on the Bluetooth or if it has DSP processing, but it really can manage to sound beautiful. I mean, so beautiful that I considered using it as my main speaker. Now, if you ask why I didn't do that, well, it is because it is one unit and as a monolithic unit, I can't have it placed right in front of me because I sit at a computer and it would obstruct my view at my monitor. So if I placed it on my right or on my left, being just one speaker meant that even though it has a stereo sound, both stereo drivers came from this year only or this year only, and that did not work well for me. On the other hand, for a party, if you are placing it farther away from you, it will fill a room. It's like it creates a soundstage in the room and nobody just hears the sound coming from it only. We even watched some movies and we used it to power the little system we had there and it was amazing. So the explosions in the movies were so convincing that not once but about four times all of us just jumped out of the bed because we watched horror movies and it was such a fun experience. So it is very good at this. It is a very good speaker. It's a speaker that I would say it's perfect. It's like a perfect Bluetooth portable speaker. It's not a battery powered Bluetooth speaker. It's just Bluetooth. So it can connect via Bluetooth. But for most of the time we used it via the wired connection, it just sounds better over the wire. It's just how it is. I will make a written review where I explain more about the Bluetooth protocols and the limitations it has. But as far as my raw impressions go, it impressed me. It impressed me much more than I expected. It is it is not the cheapest of options. And let's be honest, when ordering it, you may want to get a different grill for it. I mean, this one is it's like a Byzantine piece of art, but the Byzantine Empire hasn't been around for a couple hundred years. So I don't think 
most people would want this. It's so, it's tacky. I, I mean, it's tacky. It's not something that everyone will enjoy. Some people will enjoy. It looks like something you would see in a Greek restaurant or in a Greek home, but it is not something we would typically have. I would have rather have had one of the more artistic ones and they have more. You can order it by default with another speaker cover. And I would recommend you to use that speaker cover to protect it. I mean, we had a party, we used this, we would not have left the drivers in the open because yeah, accidents can happen. This, this is one of the options you have for the grill. I mean, look at this, it's so beautiful. This is what you should get. It looks nice. It looks like a little painting you would have in your room. Oh yeah, besides the volume control, it has another thing. It has a mode button and it has outdoor, hi-fi and ambient mode. What this does is basically it brings the sound more forward. The outdoor sounds the most forward. It will have a very forward, very aggressive sound. The hi-fi experience is the most balanced one and the ambient mode will turn everything to be balanced. It will be very balanced, very warm, smoother, and it will have less presence in the voices and in the treble and it will bring the bass more forward, which is the most pleasing way if you have a large room and if you find the bass to not be quite enough. The company knew we were going to watch movies, so they included that optical input for movies, but we watched movies on a digital source that did not have an optical output, so we used it via the auxiliary input. It doesn't have delay when used that way, which is important for watching movies or playing games, so there is no delay over the auxiliary input, which is a 3.5 millimeter input, but it has some delay over the Bluetooth input. So if you are using Bluetooth, you may notice some delays compared to the video that's being played. That is something to take into account if you are purchasing it for media consumption. The woofer driver is a 5.25 glass fiber woven cone, while the tweeter is a one inch closed dome. It's not written on the package or in the manual what kind of Bluetooth codex it supports. And I remember it was not LDAC. They do code it being Bluetooth 5.0, auto reconnects and mutes during phone calls. And you know what? You are watching audio file heaven. I'm going to connect it right now and see what Bluetooth codec my, phone, my smartphone recognizes it with it. It looks like I remembered correctly. It is able to connect to my smartphone via aptX HD. So it won't work with LDAC, but aptX HD should be more than enough for most people, even the pickiest of listeners. It works perfectly. So as I said, it works perfectly. One thing I did not mention is that if you are powering it up, regardless of the volume, there is a very faint hissing audible. So it very quietly. So it is very, very quiet, but it happens in the background and it is always audible. Like it's audible only if you place your ear right next to the driver. It is not audible, for example, from this position or from this position, it is still not audible. Only in that position, it is audible. Only if you are sitting right with the ear glued to it. Otherwise, not audible. Now, as a Bluetooth speaker, I recommend it as a multimedia center. I would not recommend it if you need something that is more portable because it is rather heavy, but it is excellent if you have a car and if you are living away with some friends for a few days. We had to pack everyone's belongings in my car and we actually filled the booth of the car to the brim. So it like it was like there was not enough space for anything else, but this one had enough space. So it is not that large. It is just quite heavy. So everything is possible with the Rabian Air 830. At the end of the day, I just hope that what I said at the beginning of the video is true. So the four most fun things in life should be spending time with your loved ones, doing whatever you want, listening to music and watching Audio File Heaven reviews. I hope if you are having a good time, you will consider subscribing to Audio File Heaven. Also leave a like on this video, check out my website, and don't forget if you have a dime to spare, I have a PayPal link in the video description. Also use the purchase links in the video description to guess the best prices you could. And I thank you so much for watching. I hope we'll see each other really soon. And don't forget to keep rocking out there and to spend time with your loved ones and with your friends. Thank you so much and we'll see each other really soon. Bye-bye.